Hello my friends out there in Dragon Blogger land. This is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger talking to you a little bit about the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 480 card, the OC card. Now I'm also showing you the Trix 3.0 software from Sapphire. This is the software used for overclocking, setting the uh, fan speeds and even changing the Sapphire logo, the color of it and checking your fan speeds and everything. So first off let me show you over here right now you can see the fans are off it hasn't reached the temperature they need to be on so I'm going to go ahead and put them as fixed see here it jumps quickly turns on and lower it a little tiny bit see that that noise all the way to past 3000 rpm put it down to 50% Still spinning, but you can barely hear it. Okay, I'll raise it a little tiny bit, maybe 60. You'll hear it a little bit more. I'll drop it to 40. 39, not bad. Still can't really hear it. And I'll turn it off. All right. So this bad boy will turn on when it reaches a, uh, right up here, a GPU temperature where it needs it. I believe it's 50 or 60 degrees Celsius. Um, here, Nitro Glow controls this light right over here. Turn that on right over here. Bring that over here. And then here, pure blue color. I will choose rainbow. You can see it turning purple, then red, then yellow. Mind you have a few lights on it, so it might be a little bit harder to see. Green, but you get the idea there. Um, change color by PCB temperature. So it's going to pulsate there. All right, and then the color will change when the temperature gets hotter. Okay change color by fan speed it's not changing very much because it's not spinning at all okay we can also do custom color remember you can choose 16.8 million or yeah I believe about 16.8 million colors so we can choose whatever we want here I'm clicking that's why it's clicking there so pretty cool all right, I like blue. And then we could just get boring and turn it off. Another thing we can, oh, we can also change the, uh, the brightness, 75% down from 100, 50% 50, 50 down from 75. And all right, so I'll put it back to 100. And now, Let's go ahead, we can also change the fan speed by pressing the button on the card, or I'm sorry, the lighting by pressing the button on the card. Here I'm not touching tricks at all. I'm pressing the button on the top of the card. See, we can change the colors, turn it off. All right. That's in case you don't want to install extra software. Not everybody does, and you know they understand that. So pretty cool there. All right. So a very nice thing. Uh, a lot of people are asking me. It's at 61 degrees right now. Let's go ahead and put it to automatic. It's at 61 degrees, and you see at automatic it did turn on. We go ahead and pump the fixed speed all the way to 100, so the temperature drops a little tiny bit. It'll quickly go down to, I'll wait till about 49 degrees and then I'll put it back to automatic. You can see there how quick it's dipping down. It does get loud, but again, the fans are at 100%.
Can't expect them to be quite at 100%. Almost at 39, so it took almost no time to get there. And I also do have the case open, so can't get as cool as it, as it normally could. It's at 39, I'm going to turn this off, put it back to automatic. Right, so then you'll see it should turn off if not it'll yeah it doesn't turn off is it off no it's not off but usually oh wait there we go there we go now it's off all right it's at 42 degrees right now it is off um, I do have something over the vents uh, to block out some of the light from this case this is the Annie D's AI crystal it is a very bright case uh, especially with the white lights so it, it's not getting the proper venting it should get right now but that's okay I'm just uh it's just for demonstration purposes so I'm at 47 degrees still the fans haven't kicked on I believe it was 60 degrees but either way very cool software if I wanted to I could change well I could check here the fan check start fan check health Right, so I'll move it over to the side a little bit. See it pump it up to 100% over here. Checking fan number one. Checking fan number two. It might find an issue since I do have the vents blocked off at the top. Oh, look at that. Fan health is okay. Very nice addition they added to the software. Um, then, of course, I've already shown you the Nitro Glow. You can also select custom fan speeds here. These are the ones I use for my overclock, which I'm not showing you here just yet. But, you know, so I did play with them over here, just raised it. Okay, my, my overclocks are set right over here. I just click load, and it loads my overclock, which again, I'm not going to show you right now. You'll see in the review itself. Here you can see some of the settings, and then here we can see some of the card info right now. Hardware monitor, this is actually very nice. Oops. Shows you all of the temperatures for everything, fan speed, GPU load, memory controller load. Very nice handy piece of equipment here. So pretty cool. Um, I do like this software a lot, and you can actually even log everything, log all of your sensor temps. I do like the software a lot. Mind you, this is a beta software. And let me just put this back to automatic. This is a beta piece of software, so it would only get better. But I just wanted to show you exactly how that worked. So again, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 480 OC card how the Trix software or the Trix 3.0 software works how it looks and all that good stuff this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger out see you guys